Welcome to Marathon Gaming. Boof! Guys, I just received through the door a Forever Fickle limited run game release package which has been posted. And I thought I'd do a quick video unboxing and opening it because I've honestly got no idea what this game is. Um, there's two games in there I can feel. Um, I'm not a big fan of limited run release games as in the company in America. I like super rare games, but with limited run, I feel like there's too many games. They come out too thick and fast. Constantly, when I mean thick and fast, I mean you get emails every week. There's just so many. With super rare games, it's like there's a lot less. They feel like they really are limited number of copies. But with these, they even got a shop in America. I don't really feel like there's truly limited numbers. And the other thing that bothers me is the fact it takes so long to come. Like, I haven't got many... We're we'll open that in a second. Like, I haven't got many limited run games. I've actually deleted the email um, subscribing to them, which I do regret, because apparently, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, which is one of my favourite games on the Switch, um, it's a very valuable game to own physically as a super rare copy. I was playing this with three other friends last night, a good few hours, four players. It's a fantastic game, but apparently limited run games has got that. Um, obviously, the downside with limited run games is you can't trade them in with CEX currently. Because an American, even though um, it's region free to switch, but super rare games, with that you can. So I don't know how it's going to affect the value of this, whether it go down or up, who knows. Um, but we'd have loved to have got another copy of it, just as a limited run, especially if it's a fraction of the price. So I'm a bit gutted that I did um, unsubscribe to their emails. Um, so we're going to find out, we're opening that together in a minute. I'll just show you my other um, limited run release that I've got, and reasons why I'm kind of gone off them a little bit. I've got Night Trap, just because me and the missus enjoy playing that. A bit of a laugh. Um, yeah, just an easy bit of fun. One of the games I can play with a wife. Um, Castlevania Collection, because all of these games... I only got Dracula's Curse. Um, the Castlevania games skip me by. But there is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight games on there. Um, Dracula's Curse, Simon's Quest, Castlevania 4. Some of the big, big titles that cost you a lot of money. So to have them all sort of repolished and remastered... Um, on this Castlevania collection of Switch, I thought it was a really good copy to have. So I was glad to get hold of that. Now, here's the reason why it frustrates me, limited run games. River City Girl Zero, I've still not opened and played it because the bloody excitement's worn away. I ordered that so long ago, I forgot about it. I thought they forgot about it. And literally, I swear it was like a whole year of pre-ordering. But there's still copies available. Loads. I'm very confused. Like It's all over eBay. There's loads of copies of this floating about doesn't feel limited run. I feel like everyone's got this. And it took me like a year to get it. It's like they keep increasing the numbers. By the time it's came, like I'm loving the beat-em-ups at the moment. The side-scrolling ones. Final Vendetta, we've been playing lots of. Play Streets of Rage 4 again last night. We've completed the story mode with a couple of friends. But yeah, that took so long to come. And then this game, right? The Red Lantern. I had this in the eShop. Loved it, played it and completed it. It's just a really nice, charming little story. It only takes like a few hours to complete. And you can do a few playthroughs and get different stories. Because you have different... Dogs along the way. Um, if you haven't played it, check it out on the eShop. It's probably quite cheap. Um, so I saw this come up. I thought, oh yeah, I'd love to own that. I'm not even open it. I thought, I'll keep it sealed um, because I've completed it already. I thought, I really enjoyed that game. I'll get it. Again, that took ages. I had loads of emails about it. I swear that took like six months to a year to arrive. I swear it did. It took so long. So that's why I'm just like, I've really lost it with limited run games. Because with super rare games... You get like an email every month saying what the game is. You put your order in and then, you know, you get sent the game the next month or whatever. You never wait more than a couple of weeks. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with limited run games. And alas, that is why I've got no idea what's in here. I didn't think I hold anything else. The only thing I can think of, these are more River City games because I thought they didn't send it to me and I've ordered more. I've got no idea what this is. So we're going to open it now. Um, little knife over here. Yeah, I've just got. I don't know. I don't know. What are your What are your thoughts, guys? Obviously, if you're watching this in the US, you've probably got. You're a bit more fonder than obviously I am from the UK. But because um, you can't really trade them in or anything, you have to send them on sell them on eBay. Obviously, in, in the UK, we use CEX generally for our only tradings. Right. So here's games again. I, I swear, over a year ago, you can hear the frustration in my voice. What the hell, man? What the absolute hell? few cards loose as a goose in there. Um, that's River City Girls. I don't know what's going on River City Girls. It's like a zero, there's a two, I don't know. And then Shadow Man. So right, this was on the N64, wasn't it? Shadow Man, I believe. What is going on? Right, Shadow Man. I can't remember clicking all in on this. Again, it's got to be like a year ago. What is happening? Is it because of the post to the UK? 
Is that what it is? It takes months to come over, it could be, but I swear I haven't ordered... If I ordered that, it would have been last summer at the latest. Could have been this time last year. I was, I'm so confused. I might have to look through, I don't know, bank statements. I'm assuming they wouldn't charge until they sent it out, or like emails. I have to try and find it. I don't even remember. I remember ordering that, but such a long time ago. Shadow Man. Who knows what else I've got coming? And then what's going on here? River City, Girl Zero. But this looks like... Is it a more Japanese... It's exactly the same. Why have I got two copies? Why have I got two copies of that? What is going on? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? I don't know what to say. I don't know. What is happening? Limited run games, guys. What do you think about limited run games? Because... I'm, I'm confused. Ooh, it's about that time. You know the golden girl stick had to be given away. We're going to give it to the champion. 16 bits and bobs. I don't know why, but somebody says he's waiting for me in this bike shelter. I don't even know. Well, let's, let's get on to it. Is he going to be there? Who knows? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> is it true? It's the game tube of the year 2022. <laughs> no. no, 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 that's mine. Give me it. You, 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 you're paid out. You're paid out. Friends and family, you cheated. You are not the biggest cock on YouTube. Look at me. That's what the mine. Hold on, hold on, calm down. With great girth comes great <laughs> responsibility. <laughs> He's going to need to get it. 